Hey everyone, it's Coach Jim with FC Fire. Today I'm going to run through some new rules that we're going to be encountering this season as we move from 5-on-5 five five to 7-on-7 seven seven with goalies. So what we're going to be doing this season is we now have a goalie plus six players on the field, 7-on-7. Seven seven. So the formation that we'll be playing will be one goalie, two defenders, three midfielders, and one forward. So what we'll call that is a two. You always start from the back when you're talking about soccer formations. So we'll call that a two, three, one. Okay? We may come across teams that are playing a three, two, one, where they may have one forward, two, uh, two midfielders, and three defenders. Or they may do other things. Some, some teams do a two, two, two. Uh, you know, it just depends on whatever formation they might want to play. But uh, what I'm going to run you through are the rules of the goalie box, because we now have a goalie. And then I'm also going to run through offsides, uh, which is something that is important for you to know. Um, as a parent or a new player to soccer, or you, know, you as a parent who you haven't been exposed to soccer growing up or anything, offsides can be a very confusing rule. So if you watch any professional soccer, any English Premier League uh, games, it, it, it may have been confusing. So I'll take you through a little bit on that. The goalies. So the first thing is, uh, if the ball is within the goalie box, this being the goalie box, the goalie is allowed to pick up the ball with their hands. So that's the thing. If the ball is outside of the box, the goalie must play it with their feet or any other, you know, any part of their body, but they cannot pick it up. Now they can pull the ball, which is interesting, they can pull the ball back with their foot into the box and then pick it up. So this is the first thing I wanted to share with you about the goal box. Now the second thing is, let's say that the uh, person from the offense who is in red and the defense on this situation because the red team is going this way has the ball and he kicks it and the blue team intercepts it. If they try to kick it back to the goalie, the goalie cannot pick it up with their hands because it is coming from one of our players. This is where things can get a little confusing. The only way that the goalie can pick up the ball is that if it comes from a shot or from the other team, or if the ball is not, it, it's a, a play that is being to where it's, it's not a pass back from one of, their own, one of their own players, okay? So the goalie cannot pick it up in that situation. I'm sharing this with you just to explain some rules. The only way that the goalie can pick up the ball if it's uh, distributed by one of the players on, uh, on his team is if it is headed back to the goalie, okay? This is to increase play uh, because in past times, uh, years ago, not that you need this history, but years ago, play, uh, teams used to just do this for hours. You know, they could, they could do this all game when they were ahead and the goalie would pick it up and then toss it out to this person and they would stall. So they've done that to stop that. So what I'm going to now shift to, and now you know a little bit about the goalie box and how the goalie can use their hands, the uh, interesting new thing is about offsides. So what we're going to do is let's say that we are on offense and this is the defensive team. Okay. Now what I'm going to show you is if this is the ball, and our team is heading this way. All right. This, the, the first thing that you have to know if we're going this way, think of that there is an imaginary line that is always with the ball. So if the ball is here, this man who is our, on our team is not offsides. But if this person, if they are in front of the ball, this person is offsides. Okay? So I'm giving you an example of this because that's the first thing that you need to learn. The second thing is, because if you really look at it in its simplest form, you have to look at where is the player's position first. So the thing is, is let's look at this. This is a secondary rule. 
The first one is about the ball, where the ball is. Okay, so think about it um, that, you know, if the ball is here, that's kind of a moving line for, for where offsides would be. The second thing is, is in terms of the defense. If there is a, if there are two players, typically it's the goalie and then the, what we call the last man back. If the ball is here, the last man back is the line of uh, offsides. So in this situation, it doesn't matter where the ball is because the defender being the second person back, one, and then two, is what we call the last man back. So this is where the offsides rule would be at this time. So if this player had the ball and we're going like this, he is not offsides. If he stepped here, he would be offsides. If he carried the ball to here, is he offsides? The answer is no, because the ball is now the offsides rule. Okay? It can be very confusing, uh, but I wanted to share this with you that just, you know, if you always think about the last man back or the ball, it's the easiest way to remember it. The other is that there's a, if you're even, uh, you are not considered offsides. But the second that you go a little bit further, that's where you would be considered offsides. And it's dependent upon when the ball is played as well. We'll get into this at, at practice, but I just wanted to share this overview with you so that you understood as we're playing this season about offsides. And if you hear the referees call offsides, it's typically because our man was off. And the, the whole reason that they have offsides, and I'll explain very quickly why, is it's to stop this from occurring. Of Let's say that we're in blue. It's to stop this from occurring where we could just kick it to this player and he could try to score all the time. They put that rule into effect to make sure that there weren't just people sitting down there camping in front of the goal. So hopefully that answers some of the questions that you may have. We have a number of other rules that we'll get into at practice, but I wanted to uh, record this video. Uh, look forward to the season.